Hello, I'm Lugog TV, and again, I'm just doing a little, little bit of fishing. I'd like to start making weekly update videos that cover the major parts of RuneScape's weekly updates. So, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, stick around. Otherwise, Episode 7 of our Hardcore Iron Man series will be coming out in the near future, with a potential guide or two to follow. Anyway, this week's update has a really cool new addition with combat pets, and a new perk for Premier Gold members. So, let's talk turkey. Or, ham if your family is rather inclined. Tofurky? Photosynthesis. For those of you that might not know, the Jagex team tries to release a batch of small updates and bug fixes every week, where some weeks have major releases, while others, uh, not so much. This week, the 20th of November, saw two significant updates, as well as its usual bug fixes. The first significant update was the release of combat pets to finish off the holy trinity of pets. Boss, skilling, and now combat. Like the other category of pets, you can acquire them how their name suggests. To get boss pets, you call bosses. To get skilling pets, you train non-combat skills. And for combat pets, well, you train combat. There are nine combat pets in total, but Krabby, the Slayer pet, joined them in the combat category. So there's only eight new unique pets that have been added into the game. The eight new pets are Sifu for attack, Kangali for strength, Sparky for range, Newton for magic, Wallace for defense, Morty for constitution, Ghostly for prayer, which is so original, and Shamani for summoning. Unlocking three combat pets nets you the Jack of Blades title. Unlocking all eight combat pets nets you the Jack of All Blades title and unlocking all 27 pets, excluding boss pets, nets you the master of all. The other significant update was an added benefit to those who purchased the year-long Premier Gold membership package. Trying to say that five times fast. They say that it will be at its lowest possible price, which, on average, has priced around 90 US dollars or 73 British pounds, and when purchased, would give you membership status for a whole year, a neat chat badge, an aura you could use daily with varying perks, among other small rewards. However, this update saw the release of the Premier Club Vault, a new monthly D&D only accessible to Premier Gold members, which actually sounds pretty fun. Non-Gold Premier members can access this D&D for free once, at the west end of the Grand Exchange in Varrock. The idea is that you're placed in the center of an open area, and you're given one minute to open as many chests as you can. There are four sizes of chests, small, medium, large, and huge, whereas the bigger ones give better rewards but they also take longer to open. I decided that I'll make a quick video detailing this D&D a little more, so click the card at the top of the screen to see more if you're interested. As for smaller updates, the Jagex team is opening three days for free membership to all accounts, new or old. On the 24th of November to the 27th of November, all accounts can log in and play as members until 12 p.m. coordinated universal time. So, bug a friend to try out RuneScape. What could possibly go wrong? As for the patch notes, Nothing much stands out, save for the skeletal horror storing away his disco afro and bell-bottom pants, and this typo. That's the end of this update video. Remember, combat pets, another premier benefit, free membership for three days, and a typo. For those of you who aren't subscribed, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, as I try to bring informative, engaging, and comical RuneScape content. We're currently developing a hardcore Iron Man series, which is going great, I think. We just named our cat. Also, I'm starting to use Twitter, so feel free to follow me there if you're interested. As for me, I'm Lugog TV, signing out. Take care and God bless.